So a man came up. Um, I got a delicious breakfast in Petersburg, finally. Oh, it's just wonderful. Um, my dog, it's too much, so I gave my dog some. But this gentleman came up and he said, is that mother and son? And I started thinking about my son in Colorado. And I thought about, God, he went through that military phase where all he would do is wear military army outfits and wanted to keep the peace. I don't want my 17, 18 year old son signing up for something he has no conceptual idea what he's signing up for as a child. I think that's taking advantage of children and um, especially poor ones that can't go to college or don't get trained to do a job. And I'm so thankful my son decided to be a musician because um, until you're about 24 and, and even that's young, I, you know, legally 21, you're an adult um, and you can drink whiskey, but you're sending these kids, these babies, and, and not only that, but they're ill-programmed to be fighters. I mean, that, that's not what our school system teaches them, industrialized schools. They teach them not to be creative, not to learn how to do a job they enjoy, not even to know how to pursue who they are as a person. Um, and then we line them up and then the world hates us because they're like, all America is just about the military. If we did Peace Corps 17 to 21 and they went around and they taught literacy and how to build things and we had military protection, the, the whole foreign world would think, God, America's really nice. We want to work with them. And that would make things a lot easier. Um, we'd have millions of kids doing things around the world, learning about the world so we could be, make a better United States. And um, I'm not saying we're not going to have some setbacks and some fighting and some military action at times. Do you see? Does that make any sense to anybody?